Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm super excited to be working out with you today. As you can see, I'm already a sweaty mess. <laughs> that is because this is technically part two to the workout that I just filmed, which I will post a link to, but if you wanna do this one on its own, that's totally fine. It's a great standalone workout, or if you have time for the longer workout, combine it with the other half of the exercises. So for this routine, we are setting our interval timers for 16 rounds, 30 seconds cardio of choice, 50 seconds maximum repetition of each exercise. I will start demoing the next exercise during the cardio burst, so make sure to keep doing your cardio while I start demonstrating, is just so you know what's gonna happen next. Um, for cardio, I'm gonna be doing high knees, so running in place, if you want to march in place, that is totally fine, or alternate, or jumping jacks, whatever cardio you feel like doing today, go for it. Push yourself, if you're breathing heavy, if you're sweating a lot, great signs that you're pushing past the point of comfort, that is the zone you wanna be working in. If it feels really easy, it's time to amp it up a notch and go a little bit harder. Okay guys, ready? Here we go. 10 seconds of prep and then right into our cardio burst. Belly's gonna pull in, we're gonna do high knees to get started or marching, whatever you want. Here we go. Our first exercise is gonna be a warrior to a single leg squat. We're gonna do all one side, then all the other side. Keep up with your cardio, I'm gonna demo. Belly in, arms reach. We're gonna go warrior three, lift, bend that back knee, squat as low as you can, like you're gonna to touch it to the ground, and then return, repeat. Okay, whoop, we're there already. If you need to put your foot down in between, like this, and then go into it, that's fine too. Listen to your body, back flat, core pulled in. All one side, cardio, Ooh, I'm losing balance. And then we're gonna do the other side. Really making that standing leg do a lot of work on this one. Breathe and stretch into it. Cardio burst on the other side. Good job, guys. Knees nice and high. Whether you're marching or running, belly in. Okay, other side, belly in, back flat. Find that balance. Good job, guys. Keep going. Cardio. We're gonna be on the floor next. We're gonna do hydrants. So we're gonna get on all fours. Again, all one side, then we'll do the other side. Keep going, I'm gonna demo. So get on your hands and knees, belly pulls in strong. We're gonna keep our knee bent to 90, bring it parallel, squeeze it in and lift, hold at the top. Okay. Squeeze and squeeze the inner thighs. So working the outer thighs, outside of the hips, and the inner thighs as we squeeze it in. Good 
job guys breathe we're getting there Good job, guys. Cardio. Doing great. Doing fantastic, guys. Other side, all fours. Belly strong, pulled in, lift, and squeeze. Squeezing both ways. Doing great, guys. Great job, keep moving. Less than 10 seconds up. Really great exercise. Respecting the glutes. Cardio burst. We're going to have either lunge jump or alternating lunge if you want the lower impact version. Next, I'll demonstrate alternating lunge. We're going to squeeze, step, squeeze, step. Or if you're jumping, you're going to jump and switch in the air. Okay, guys. Belly strong, hips. Going straight down toward the ground. Oh. Good job, guys. Keep going if you can. Get in that last one. Leg series is next. We'll be on the floor. Good job, guys. I'm going to demo. Keep going. All one side, then the other. Belly pulls in. Arms stretch out. One leg stretches. Lifts. Butt tucks the floor, press it up, repeat. Standing leg, toes can stay lifted to really make those thighs and hamstrings work. Belly strong. Breathe. Push through it. It's good if you feel the burn. It's even good if you max out and need a quick break because that's where we're entering that muscle building phase. Cardio burst. And muscles will help improve your metabolism, your strength, your power, shape. They do all kinds of great things before you. Other side is next, same thing. Okay. 
Other side. Chest lifted, toes lift. Drop, press, repeat. Good job, guys. Keep going. We're getting there. Pull that belly in. Make those transverse abs work to support the core. Cardio. Okay, walking push up is next. And it's still a sleepy cat, so I'll try not to bother him too much with my walking push-ups. Keep going. So what it's gonna be is push up, step it right or left, push up, step it back. If the push-ups are too much, you can either come to your knees, push up, back flat, or just plank, step, hit your plank, step, step, hit your plank. Whichever version, most challenging for you. Get in there, guys. I can't see where we're at, but we're still getting there. Cardio. Donkey kicks are next. Okay, so we are going to get in all fours and then hover the knees. Keep up with your cardio. So by hover our knees, I mean we're gonna get onto the toes. Knees stay lifted. We're gonna kick our butt. If that's too crazy, you're going to kick and kick, but oh, highest impact variation. Stretch it out real quick. My shoulders are tired. got this. Okay, yes, cardio. Whew. Reverse plank step out is next. Good job, guys. Keep going. Oh, waited too long to demo. Sorry, guys. Reverse plank. Hold it if that's enough for you. Otherwise, we're going to have to step out, lift the hips. I need to angle so I can have enough room. Step out, lift. Almost to the cat, not quite. Lift. Hit your reverse plank in between. Table press is next. Okay guys, I'm gonna demo. So 
So table press, keep up with your cardio. We're gonna sit straighter than we ever would in real life. Belly pulled in, hands are gonna press into the mat next to your hips. Shift your weight forward, hips press high, head can drop back or look forward. Bring the hips back, keeping them lifted for a second if you can, and then repeat. Breathe. Repeat. If you can't get your hips up at that end piece, don't worry about it. It's just an added bonus for the core. Breathe. Okay guys, next we have burpees. You can go low impact or high impact plyometric. Your choice. Keep up with your cardio. Low impact is squat, step, step, either plank or push up your choice. Step, step, squeeze. High impact is jump, push up, jump, and jump. Okay, go. I'm just alternate. Good job, guys. Keep going. Ten seconds. Cardio. Down dog to tap. Okay, keep cardio, all one side. So come into down dog, from plank, flat back, lift the hips. We're gonna toe tap, hit your down dog. Toe tap, hit your down dog. Oh, here we go. I am super sweaty, so my hands are sliding all over the place. Breathe through it. So reaching across to the opposite foot. Hold your down dog if it gets crazy. I to shake it out real quick. Oh, only four seconds left. Oh, my hand's sliding away from me. Okay. Cardio and then other side. Whew. So same exact thing, other hand reaching. Shake it out, other side. Reach. Good 
Good job, guys. Keep going. Almost there. Okay, cardio. Supermans are next. Last two exercises. Double check. Yeah. So for supermans, we're going to lay on our belly. Keep up with your cardio. Whoops. Good thing that's closed. Arms are going to lift. Legs are going to lift. Release. Try and hold your squeeze at that top part. Trying to make as much space between your thighs in the mat and your chest in the mat as you can. Using the back of the body to lift and hold. Almost there, guys. Doing great. So close to the end. One more cardio burst to go. And then one more exercise. Okay, cardio burst. Final one. Then we're gonna do a farmer walk. Keep up with your cardio. Belly's gonna pull in. Hands behind your head. We're gonna squat. Keep it low. We're gonna step, step, step. And I'm gonna step back. You can go further forward if you want. Basically, we're walking in a wide leg squat. I'm not gonna step on the cat. So, that's as far as I go, and then I go. Besides, I'd probably walk out of the camera too. Making those thighs work. Staying low, so we're really not getting a break. Fifteen seconds. Almost there. Good job, guys. Okay. Nice workout. Grab some water if you need it. As always, thank you guys for working out with me. I hope you got as sweaty as I did. It's really hot in my house, but it's also a really good workout. So I hope you pushed yourself working hard. If you are done, cool down, march in place, do some stretching to finish up with, let your heart rate come back to normal so it's not a shock to your system to just stop. Oh, get some water. Um, let me know what moves you loved, if you had a move you did not like, <laughs> and let me know how you like the workout. I'll be looking for your comments. As always, full breakdown, benderfitness.com. I'll see you guys there.